Star Wars The Fallen Order is a masterpiece. It's a game that shows that EA is still very capable if they weren't so greedy with microtransactions. This game doesn't have that flaw. It doesn't have microtransactions that annoy many and rise the bad fame of EA. And not only that it doesn't have microtransactions, but the game itself is a masterpiece too. You play as Cal Kestis, this guy, who wants to rebuild the fallen Jedi Order after the events of the Order 66. The story is amazing, it's a journey in which he finds what he truly wants. He meets people that convince him to restore the Jedi Order and people who induce doubt, people that give him arguments on how absurd and bad Jedis are, and the story is so well written that not only that it engages you, but it also avoids cliches. As for the gameplay, your experience is according to the difficulty you choose. If you play on a hard difficulty, you will find the combat in the game similar to a Souls game. Enemies deal a lot of damage and you can't restore health unless you have enough canisters by you. In the game you travel from one meditation area to the other and meditation areas are safe spots and spots where you can upgrade your character. And if you die without reaching a meditation area, you get respawned at the last meditation area you have saved and all of your XP is lost. Luckily, when you reach the enemy that killed you, and after you defeat that enemy, you get all of your lost XP back. And the gameplay can get tough. It's far easier than Dark Souls, but it has somewhat of a similar feel. And if you play the game on storytelling, then you get a different experience. The game is so easy that you breeze through enemies, and you feel awesome. Playing the game on storytelling made me feel like in the Force Unleashed, but played from the good side. As for the combat, it's amazing how much depth it has. At first, you just swing your lightsaber, but the more you progress in the game, the deeper the combat gets. You get many different sorts of force abilities. BD-1, your companion can hack other robots. You can use the double lightsaber at will, and you can break down the lightsaber and use it as a dual lightsaber. And you get some nice touches too, like for example enemies have different dialogue lines depending on your health. If you have low health, they will say a different dialogue than when you have full health. And EA knows what fans really want from a Jedi game. Jedi lightsaber duels. And as you might expect, they are epic. Another part of the game is the parkour and exploration. You get free room in the game. But the free room isn't as you would expect, it feels linear. You have 5 planets you can travel to, and each planet has different paths you can take. And you are free to take whichever path you want, as many times as you want. You can parkour around, you can even wall run, later in the game you unlock the double jump, you can use BD1 to slide down or to slide up, you can swim underwater, the game has some creative puzzles, and I have to praise them, as they aren't the typical puzzles that are very easy to solve and very obvious if you usually play a lot of video games. No, the puzzles are actually elaborate and are really creative and they are varied and force you to think outside the box. And overall you can feel that the game is made under the tutelage of Disney, from the dialogues to the blockbuster quality of the game. What I liked a lot in the game was that you get something new at regular intervals throughout the whole gameplay. There is never a moment where you stop getting something new. And the novelties are exciting. I don't want to insist on them because I might give you spoilers, but just know that the game feels always fresh. There is never a moment where you could say that it's repetitive. It's the complete opposite. You receive so many new things in short time spans that the game feels very rewarding. Even after the end credits you still have stuff to explore and new spaces to see. Spaces that you couldn't have reached before because you didn't have that ability. You also get battle arenas and during the story missions, during the normal playthrough, there are Jedi hunters on your tail and you have to defeat them. New enemies come at a good pace, new abilities at a good pace. And rather than your wallet rewarding you, 
In this game, exploration is the factor that rewards you. You can find chests where you can find new ponchos, new skins for BD1 and for the Mantis, and new outfit colors. You can also customize your lightsaber from a big wealth of options. And later in the game, you can even choose your color between 8 different lightsaber colors. The only flaw I can call in the game is that for some reason the textures don't load fast enough which makes the game look like you are playing it on PC on the lowest possible settings. They eventually load if you stay long enough in one area, but even if it's bothersome at first that the textures don't load, you get used to them, and the game still looks good even with the washed out textures. Overall, I consider the game a masterpiece you definitely have to try. The story is amazing, the gameplay is amazing, the music is amazing, it's in the legendary Star Wars games Pantheon for sure.